Hello, welcome to the video again. Now before I move on, I want to emphasize some things that I missed out. And is that one is that the weakness of the Weimar government is not the main reason because yes, I know his name now. Uh stress man now uh, due to hyperinflation, stress man is able to solve this through creating a new currency. And this got support back for the Weimar government. But the final straw and the main issue is the Great Depression. It was brought them to the economy brought the economy down such that it cannot recover at fast enough for the alternative parties to gain power okay so this was the bigger factor on the great depression okay because it really brought the economy down and the currency down and joblessness homelessness was on the rise again okay another thing is the nazi ideology okay something important you must say is that his ideology provided something for everyone okay if you were supporting the Kaiser last time, the old Germany, you the point about making Germany great again can appeal to you. If you are something make Germany great again, the Kaiser again, living space can appeal to you, right? If you are poor or you want to seek alternative parties, economic issues solving the economic problems can appeal to you, right? The nationalization of businesses, that is one of his thing. You want to nationalize big business, not all, uh, but just the big business, and this can appeal to the communists or the other side, uh, the side that wants more power to the people. Again, if you're Iron, he can appeal to you because he says support of the Iron race. Uh, if you're anti-immigration, then he support to you as well because he says he want to, he want to, uh, he want to uh, allow only true Germans to live in Germany. Yeah, uh? this Iron race thing, true Germans live in Germany. Okay, and if you are the big businessman, you say that you want to stop communism, there's another one. Okay, so all these things provided something for everyone, appealing to all. That's how this Nazi party, this Nazi ideology managed to appeal to people. Okay, moving on now to Impel of Hitler's rule, just very quickly, it's not all the points I say again. Uh, okay, yes, one more thing. One more thing. Skillful and manipulating is that I write the first line in your textbook. I think you should know this line. Good political strategies. Strategies are willing to wait for right opportunity. To take power. Gradually. Now the thing is, his Nazi party... In nineteen thirty two, July nineteen thirty two to November nineteen thirty two was actually losing seats, huh? He lost seats inside the Reichstag, that means the parliament seats are huh? the decision making power. Two hundred thirty to one ninety six. But the communists actually increased uh, one hundred eh? uh, eighty nine to one hundred. So the communists were increasing but he was decreasing. So he decided that he cannot just do it through elections. He need to do it through making deals with the politicians as well. Okay. Don Van Boypen and Hindenburg mistakenly thought that they can control the cabinet, which had only three Nazis in it. They were able to keep policy making in their own hands. Okay, because you need the vote of the Reichstag in order to pass policies, and the people. Inside the main cabinet, there's only three Nazis inside there. But somehow, Hitler managed to still overthrow this by by the Reichstag fire and so on and so forth. Huh? So they, he was very bigly underestimated. Okay, so that's the main point of this part. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay yeah, so to recap again. Huh? Okay. He gradually waited for the right time to take power gradually because in 1932, 19, July to November 1932, he was losing power, 230 seats to 196 seats. So he managed to convince Hindenburg that give him a chance as Chancellor because Hindenburg himself could not pass the laws because he did not have enough support in the Reichstag, but he has majority inside the cabinet. But that's not enough to give him to pass the laws. So rotation between Papen and von Streiten 
both cannot help him to pass the laws. Both chancellors were replaced by Hitler. Thought he can control Hitler, but he couldn't because Hitler was able to manipulate this chancellor through the rice stack fire and so on and so forth in order to get power and eliminate his opponents. So that is how he rose to power. All his opponents were eliminated because of this. <coughs> okay, moving on to impact. So political loss of uh, democracy caused the rice fire. Invoke Article 48 in which the main thing uh, is this civil liberty suspended from the press assembly or public. So political parties are banned, newspapers shut down, members arrested, tortured by SA. So there's no political parties, there's limited power left of the other political parties. And people couldn't choose, that's why he says it's a loss of democracy. So again, night of the long nights, he got control of the army which made him even more powerful, which reduced the freedom of uh, political freedom even more uh, if you have the army to help you. Okay, so that's the impact of getting control of the army. The enabling act passed laws without approval of the rice stack at the present, giving absolute powers, and it was legal absolute powers, again, to suppress all his opponents. Huh? So, all these things, ban trade union and political party, suppress freedom of expression and freedom. He became a legal dictator, and hence his political position authority is strengthened as a dictator. So that's the political impact. Okay, fear, question forward, SS Gestapo creates suspicion, tension among people. Anybody who opposed the Nazis or were thought to be opposing were captured, sent to concentration camp and killed and tortured or worked to death. Secret police, Gestapo, remove threats against Nazi responsible to no one and they can detain people without trial. Huh? No law system for these people. They will just go to jail or just go to concentration camp really. So of course people are going to live in fear, suspicion, lead to arrest, anyone could be caught, so their lives are worse off. But in the same way, through this, there was limited opposition and Hitler was able to consolidate his power as well, if that is the question. Okay, so same for the working people, control trade union, all under the German work front. You cannot strike, you cannot bargain, you cannot ask for higher pay, you cannot ask for better working conditions. You cannot change jobs, but you are given workbooks, right, so that you will hit your quota, you will have good... Uh, you will work well. You will control over leisure time. Strength through joy, beauty of labor, Volkswagen. These were things to brainstorm people that to think that it was good. But actually, they thought it was good because it was better than having no jobs at all and no benefits. At least here, you have some benefits, but it's controlled. It's more to motivate the workers to follow his plan. His plan that has a lack of freedom. So you can say also that this helped him to consolidate his power. If the question asks you about how Hitler consolidated, uh, this is one of the things he did, consolidate his power by making sure he can control the workers. But if they ask you about the impact, you say loss of freedom. So although production increased, but there's a loss of freedom and platform to workers to protect their interests. Okay, highly controlled life. So same as this climate of fear So. Consolidate power, social impact, loss of freedom, also to consolidate power. So these are the posters, uh, the holidays, the car, the, the healthy living, the, the sports events that can go by controlled sports events. Okay, social impact, worse off treatment of Jews or so women, encouraged to not to work and stay at domestic task and childbearing, although it's a bad thing, but women feel that this gives them a sense of identity in who they are and that's why they continue to support that they have a specific role to play Jews are homosexual again Jews were banned I mean not banned citizens rights take away business boycotted mistreated badly property business place of worship burned highly discriminated against sent to the camp so life was definitely worse off because they suffered Nuremberg laws actually revoked their citizenship and the right to marry Germans now the broken glass was one of the final straws shops were destroyed and Jews beaten sent to the camp Gas solution, I mean final solution in gas chamber. So this showed that their lives were definitely worse off. But for the minorities, uh, the the disabled people or the homosexual, they were sterilized, experimented upon, inhumanely sent to camp or executed. Uh, they were used for human experiments in order to to make sure that the iron race can rule over them. Uh, make sure that people are born healthy. So you don't want these people, I don't know why, uh, that's his twisted logic. Okay, use impressionable made to join Hitler Youth. Again, this can be used for consolidation power. Uh. They get the Hitler Youth to to join you, but then again, they lost freedom and military training. League of German Girls, same thing, uh, all brainwashing to believe in Hitler's message because the youth are very impressionable. So, 
outcome, tenant pool is depleted, of course, loss of many tenanted individuals who left, especially many of them who are Jews, uh, who suffered great humiliation and inhumane treatment. And so all these people left. Germany was worse off in the sense of the tenant pool being depleted, just like in Russia. And but then this was again used to control and consolidate Hitler's power. So this is one of the burnt buildings, uh, the Jews in the Gog being burnt. So again, controlling power, propaganda and censorship, book burning, censorship, uh, anti-Semitic, anti-communist, anything all banned, portrayed positive image, the propaganda of Hitler and Nazi party, films and posters, carry pro-Nazi uh, messages, everybody had a radio. Uh, okay, The right chamber of commerce could censor things and publication, all must go through Mr. Goebbels and his chamber of commerce before it can be published. Book burning events happen, ransack libraries, so all these help to sway people's mind that they only can see a positive image of the Nazis and of course you can gain control huh? if you only all you see and listen to are good things that Hitler has done as the saviour of Germany and to obey uh, Hitler okay so the book burning the portrayal as a Führer and a great leader and to make Germany great again okay finally positive economic impact jobs created unemployment because of his massive work again because he wanted to uh, create the war industry so infrastructure facility Bad imports, all the industries for Germany give good hand, good government contracts, we give them jobs. Okay, people are worse off because of the Weimar government, they didn't have jobs, but now they at least have some jobs. Violated TOV, TOV uh, took a bold step, uh, knew the weakness of the appeasement, increased the size of the military, built all the military industries and other industries, like uh, tank, ammunition, and so on and so forth to make Germany great again. People could see that he was making positive action and not just talk, uh, so he do all this, revoke the TOV through building this military equipment and this provide jobs for people okay so this was a good thing so unemployment greatly reduced stable income decent standard of living militarization provided employment support for Nazis oh, okay so that's the economic impact so the hierarchy of needs so that first people didn't have jobs at all so again you meet their needs you gain support but after that after they have jobs that's when they want freedom of expression and so on and so forth and that's the second level. So people realize that they don't have all this freedom. But then again, they are being suppressed. So in order to curb the suppression and continue to control support for the Nazis through the fear, all these things are to curb their suppression. Okay, thank you very much.